Buddhist temple is a famous landmark for Baha'i worshippers and tourists due to its distinctive design and unique construction techniques. The Iranian architect Farah Boaz Sabah designed the temple in 1976 to reflect the Baha'i faith. The building resembles a giant lotus flower, the symbol of purity, beauty and divinity. It's also nine-sided to coincide with the mystical properties of nine-sided shapes. Construction commenced in April 1980 and finished in September 1986 in Calcutta, New Delhi. It established itself as a tourist destination, some dubbing it as the Taj Mahal of the 20th century. The life savings of Ardisha Rostenpur bought the land in 1953 and the project totaled 10 million US dollars, excluding the marble cladding. Approaching the temple, you first notice three distinct layers of petals interlocking to form the lotus structure. Three concentric rings form the layers. The petals face outwards in the first ring, creating canopies over the nine entrances. The second ring covers the outer hall, and for the third ring, the petals curve inward to partially enclose the central prayer hall. As Australians, we recognise similarities between the Lotus Temple and the Sydney Opera House as the temple skeleton is similarly comprised of pre-cast reinforced concrete and stainless steel lugs to support the white marble exterior. Each ring consists of different double curved shell shapes, making it difficult to build. The Lotus uses similar waterproofing methods using silicon to seal the building joints. Finally, the temple has great ergonomics. The nine outside pools duly function as a place for reflection and temple ventilation. The pools cool the air before entering the interior chambers. It's also the first temple in Delhi to install solar panels, providing an alternative electricity source, reducing the running costs. I chose this engineering design as it reminds me of the Australian Sydney Opera House and because I'm impressed by how simple the building appears despite the intricacy of the interlocking petals and the underlying technical aspects. I believe the Lotus Temple demonstrates ingenuity and innovative engineering, making it a distinctive global iconic landmark for generations to come.